Broskis and Broskets, this is a water vapor electric fireplace and it is the most interesting thing I've ever installed in all of my plumbing career. This unit needed water to create fake flames so we are here to run a water line to it. When I first checked out the job I met with the building super and the contractor. They were both wondering on how we are going to run the line to the unit. Their idea was to grab the water from a small kitchenette that they had. This was like 50 feet away and it seemed like a lot of work for a little water vapor. The super is set to run a quarter inch copper tubing from the kitchenette to the fireplace. I didn't love that idea to be honest because it would have to be run in the ceiling and even if I tried to support it in multiple places and been super careful the tubing would probably still touch other wires, ceiling supports or it could even kink in multiple places. So I started asking them where the closest bathroom and kitchens would be in the apartments above to pinpoint the place where the risers go up. Amazingly, the sea line bathrooms were right above us, so I removed a ceiling tile to see and the risers were right there patiently waiting to be discovered. Thank god there was a drain valve in the cold water riser that made the job a lot easier because tapping into the 2 inch main would be a job for the press gun. When that comes out, it means that the proposal will reflect that and most clients tend to scare off. Anyways, they both like my game plan and for the new connection so we scheduled the shutdown date for two weeks after. The day came and we came through to knock this cool ass job out. We got there at 9am so we started getting some stuff ready. The water was to be off at 10am so we had an hour to do whatever we can. While preparing I noticed a light blinking in the ceiling. As I get closer I noticed that it was the fire alarm system so I called the super up to tell him that I'll be soldering. He picks up with his mouth full and almost chokes saying hello. I'm like, super, you gotta go offline with the fire alarm system. He starts choking even worse, probably panicking as if I told him that there's a fire or something. Why, he asked. Because I'll be soldering the new line and all of these sensors in the ceiling will definitely go off. Oh shit, he said, I forgot about that. I don't blame him, honestly. He was probably enjoying a bacon, egg and cheese for breakfast and I called him to do his job. Poor guy. Going offline with the fire alarm system is probably the most important job a super has to do because if the alarm goes off, the fire department gets notified automatically and they come through faster than a hiccup, obviously expecting a damn fire. If there is no fire, the building gets fined $5,000 for wasting their time and the fine is for every single time that they come through for no reason. Matter of fact, the fine increases every instance so the super would be super fucked. In cases like these, honestly, these supers would be better off starting a little fire right before the fire truck shows up because otherwise they will get fired. You know, just a little fire, nothing crazy, just to give the fireman something to do and the fine disappears. I'm only kidding by the way, if you're a super and you're watching this, please don't get ideas and start fires broski. Take the fine like a champ, fuck it, it's your fault anyways. But all jokes aside, if you're a new super, make sure that you learn your building well the first month or so because that will make your job a lot easier and reduce a lot of future stress. Anyways, we didn't solder any of the connections before we got the super's confirmation but we did run the whole line from the ceiling to the speed valve inside the fireplace. We ran about 15 linear feet of half inch copper piping. We Mickey Mouse it to the metal studs. By that I mean supported the pipe with Mickey Mouse traps. That might not be the proper name, but I don't care, I'm not ever calling them anything else, bro. Once the system was offline and the water was shut off, we started preparing for the connection. I cut the old hose bib off with the grinder as usual because it's obviously faster. I prefer using a grinder because it's also a lot easier. The cut is always perfect, but just needs to be reamed after, that's all. The only problem with using a grinder to cut copper is that the particles spread out and you need to wear goggles to protect your eyes. So I ream the pipe and stick a paper towel inside to suck the water out of it. Then I clean it, flux it and install a half inch male adapter. Even though there was a bit of water just dripping out of it, the male adapter was sorted successfully because the water would evaporate before reaching the actual adapter. Then I cool it, then apply Teflon tape first and then pro dope. I decided to install a half inch brass T so I can put a new drain valve on one side. In the other side I put a nipple and a bowl valve ASAP and had the super turn the water back on. In the meantime, I start connecting the new line. Since the valve is IPS, I started with the male adapter and connected the half inch line to it. After water was on and everything soldered and connected, I shut the speedy off and tested the new line for leaks. And of course there were no drips in sight cause I soldered everything. After that was done, came the best part of the job. 
connecting the unit and turning on the fire. The unit came with only a 2 inch piece of plastic tubing but I needed more so it can be easily moved in and out. Luckily the work van came to the rescue like always. Bro honestly my van has never let me down. I have an arsenal of materials there and it's actually not even that messy. I guess it's just cause we've done many different types of jobs throughout the years and have used most materials that the New York City supply sells so the spare parts left are like gold bro. So we connected the water and turned the fireplace on super excited to see what it did and we were definitely amazed. This unit did not disappoint one bit. Look at how sexy this fake fire looks bro. This shit looks better than real fire. I honestly could not stop filming it and almost got a parking ticket doing so. Thank god I didn't but even if I did it would definitely be worth it. I wouldn't even be mad. The client of the next job kept calling me by the way but I kept hanging up because he was interrupting the recording of this magnificent electric fireplace in action. <laughs>